Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Steph. What up, dog? On today's episode, we're starting a new segment called Throwback Thursdays for Movies. Yes, Throwback Thursdays. Everybody already knows about Throwback Thursdays, but we're doing it for movie reviews. We're going to review, like it, like the title says, a throwback movie. It doesn't have to be so old. It could be year, two years ago, a year ago. But, yeah, this first Thursday, Throwback Thursday episode, we're going to be reviewing The Wolf of Wall Street, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill. Just to name a few, because the cast was great, just yeah. in general. There was other people in there, but uh, yeah, those are the only two that matter. No, just kidding. <laughs> but uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on those notifications, share the channel with others, let them uh, come and join in on the fun, let them be part of the family. And thank you guys in advance for watching. Without further ado, Throwback Thursday, Wolf of Wall Street. I mean, what can I say that these people should not already know? I mean, if you did not watch Wolf of Wall Street, I feel like you don't like movies. It was such a good movie. So many iconic lines. Um, it literally combined, like, everything you, you could like, minus, like, whole gun violence. I mean, you had your, your conniving, you had your, 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 your adultery, you had your drugs, you had your money making, you had your friendship. Like that entire movie was flat out dope uh, from start to finish. And I mean, what more can you say about a movie that has Leo Leonardo DiCaprio in it? I mean, he played that role so well mm -hmm. that some people probably thought he was a rich, a rich juggy, drug, druggy. Very junkie, junkie. There it is. Cause there was moments where he would basically just be like snorting coke, and then they they, they had that one drug. I forget the name of it. That that one special drug he found oh, or whatever. Like Quaaludes or something like that. Yeah, it it was something that he found, and it was like old. And like yeah, what made him expire? Yeah, expire or something. It made him crack. Yo, like that entire movie was just dope, and like from the whole building his company up from selling penny penny stocks and stuff like that. I I enjoy the movie, man, and there is no way, if I'm not mistaken, he, he, he won an Academy Award for that, right? I do believe, but uh, that whole movie embodied the uh, true essence of Wall Street, in my opinion. Think crooks. So? Crooks. Oh, yeah, well, Straight yeah. Straight crooks. I think I agree with that part. Uh, but uh, to me, my favorite character in the show was Jonah Hill because he played the role very well, wild, crazy, and out of control. Yo, I love Jonah Hill though, man. We don't get enough movies with Jonah Hill, if you ask me. Agreed. Earlier in his career, yes, you got a lot of them. You got so much of them, you sometimes got sick of it, but he was always funny. But you, one fun fact, apparently uh, this movie helped, was one of the big movies that helped Jonah Hill outdo Samuel Jackson for the most curse words. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't by a whole lot either. That is a fun fact. Wow. That is a fun fact. So which movie did Samuel, did he beat Samuel in, though? I mean, no, no, no. We're talking about as a whole franchise. Well, so wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out. This one movie helped. No, helped greatly because this one had the most curse no, words I, that's, in that's it. That's what I'm saying. So this one movie helped him catch up to Samuel Jackson. Yes, this has the most curse words in a film, I believe. Bro, if one movie well, makes I mean, you, you catch look up. At it. War Dogs had a lot of cursing from him in it. Everything has had a lot, but this has been his one of his most. But that's what I'm saying because movies. in every Samuel Jackson movie, yes, we know his favorite catch line. Yes, so it's like I feel like for one movie to help you catch up to Samuel well, Jackson, almost. I think the ratio was almost every few lines that was cussing in this. That is insane, bro. <laughs> that is a fun fact. That is something awesome. The only movies I don't remember Samuel Jackson ever cussing is obviously Marvel movies. I don't yeah, think he cussed in the Marvel. He movies. cussed the Marvel. No, he hasn't said his famous line in Marvel movies, obviously, for obvious reasons. I mean, but they've cursed the Marvel movies. They've said those same words in Marvel. Well, nah, no, no, they no. haven't said that word, but they've said close enough. 
They've cursed them all. Language. <laughs> but, uh, I really feel like this was literally one of the best movies ever. I can honestly say that, in my opinion. My humble opinion, Wolf of Wall Street was literally one of the best movies ever. I mean, it's easier always to make good movies when it's about real life events. True. Based off of true stories, stuff like that. True. So, I mean, kudos to them. Now, one thing I will say, Matthew McConaughey should have probably been in this a little bit more. I think it would have made the movie even better. Agree. Agree. This cast was so great. Yeah, yeah. really good cast. It really did, man. But the wild parties and all of that. Like, I listen, I'm a married man. But, like, I want to, like, have, like, a wild party minus the cocaine and drugs. Because I don't get down like that. I mean, I think those were what made the party wild for them. But, uh, yeah. For me, just give me some liquor and some friends. Like, that's it. Like... <laughs> Don't give me no drugs. I'm good. But it was great. It was all great. in all, the movie itself was great. I think this was one of Jonah Hill's biggest roles, if you ask me, between this and War Dogs. Yes, Superbad was a great role for him, but... Man, that was such a great movie, too. I think this was one of his more coming-of-age roles. Okay, it makes sense. One of, not, if I'm there's, there's a few that he has that's more of a serious role than this, mm. but this was more of his one of, I think, his... Biggest coming of age. Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't Joe Hill play in um? What is that movie with Ashton Kutcher? Which one? I mean, there's a lot of Ashton um, Kutcher movies. Until I think late. With Bill about Bill Gates. Was it about Bill Gates? I mean, there was been one about Bill Gates, Steve Jobs. I can't remember. Jobs. That's what it was. Uh, Wasn't he in Jobs? I don't remember. I. I I didn't really care too much for Jobs movie. I loved Ashton Kutcher in that movie personally. But we're not gonna get down that movie. We're talking about The Wolf of Wall Street right now. Yeah, we have a lot of throwback Thursdays to go. Yep. And I mean a lot. Very lot. A lot of Thursdays. We have more than enough to uh have us suffer through twenty twenty all over again. No, I'm just kidding. We wanna get over this whole year as quickly as possible. But Thank you guys for tuning in to the first Throwback Thursday. What's a movie that you guys would pick as a Throwback Thursday? Let us know in the comments below. And until next time, see you.